Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and The Punisher, issue number five. I can't say enough good things about this comic book. I did see one thing that was a little bit weird, but we'll, we'll get to that. I'm sure we'll get to that. So right now we got Punisher, Frank Castle, and World, World War Frank, part five of five. Uh, but th So this may be the end of an arc, but oh no, you can definitely consider this a jumping on point. Uh, writer Matthew Rosenberg, artist Simon Kudransky, colorist Antonio Fabella, letters VCs Corey Petit, cover artist Greg Smallwood, variant covers by Mark Zeck and Richard Ivanoff, and that's the Hidden Gem variant, uh, Marco Dejev, not my fault, Fantastic Four uh, variant. So, designer Anthony Gambino. <clears throat> Punisher's doing his thing, man. He's going after this guy who's only got two of the Mandarin rings. And he gets those rings, and he gets some body parts, too. Oh, man, I love it. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, having a K-Bar um, cookery, sick. Sick. Okay, so moving on, Frank Castle goes through the motions of getting all these different people so that he can try and lead, uh, be led to where Baron Zemo is hiding out at. Now, he says he's in Bagalia. Maybe. Maybe. But he wants to know exactly where he's at. <clears throat> so he goes through all the motions. He gets to what could be one of the last stops he's headed towards. And guess who's there waiting for him? Nick Fury. He's also got Hawkeye, Iron Fist, um, Luke Cage, somebody else. Somebody else who he beats up. Uh, Winter Soldier. Yeah. Um, there's a part that where... Um, what do you call it? Punisher got captured and held by Luke Cage. Iron Fist comes up to punch him with the Iron Fist and misses him and hits Luke Cage instead. That's how uh, Frank Castle is able to get out. I'm wondering, was he about to hit him with the Iron Fist? Like, was he about to hit Punisher with the Iron Fist? Because he would have killed him. He would have popped his head. It would have boom all over the place. What's up with that? It's the only thing I found really weird about this comic book. Everything else. There was a part where... I leaned forward, like jumped, leaned forward because I was laughing so hard. Um, uh, what do you call it? It involved Luke Cage and what he was saying. You'll, when you get to that point, you'll see. This kind of, like, I'm, my head is still spinning from reading this comic book because it seems so linear. It seems so simple. And yet it's just so amazing. I love reading Frank Castle going through the motions of just straight murdering people. This is such an amazing run. I'm talking like all three volumes that uh, that Rosenberg was on, man. Oh, dude. Dude, this is so good. So by the end, well, I'll just give you this. Next arc, Frank and Bagalia. Yeah. War. War and Bagalia. Uh, not looking good. This looks like it's going to be an actual scene from the comic books. You got to read this one to understand how. This is probably one of my favorite comic books out. And I know I don't get a whole lot of hits on this video, is what it is. I'm still going to read it. Probably still going to continue doing reviews on it. Such an amazing book. This, oh God, this is like one of the epitome Frank Castle books. He doesn't say a whole lot. He can joke, though. He was cracking some jokes in here with this one dude. Just because he doesn't respect him at all. It was glorious. Guys, definitely consider checking out this book. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.